Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk to you guys about like how I got into nursing school. Barely. It was honestly a miracle and it's about to be a month that I got my acceptance email and I can't believe that it's already been a, been a month and I can't believe that I'm gonna be going to nursing school in a few months which is pretty crazy which means in a few years I will be a RN with a bachelor's of science in nursing and it's just crazy because I have honestly like gone a long way like I mean I'm not here today to tell you like how I got into nursing school like oh like do this and you will get into nursing school because I can't even tell you that like do what I did and you will get in because I don't know how I got in I'm just going to tell you all of the midlife crisis that I had that got me into nursing school or at least like I don't know this is this is my story on how I got into nursing school. So I had to like make an outline because if not, I would lose track of time and story and I would forget like things and I really want to mention like the important things and elaborate on the important things. Me, when I didn't elaborate on the important things, I elaborated on everything and I made this video almost 30 minutes long so you would think that i would start in high school or maybe even like college but no i'm gonna start in middle school in middle school sixth grade seventh grade i was taking regular classes like in my school they had honors and they also had like you would just take like advanced classes so like you were in the seventh grade taking classes that ninth graders should be taking and i had everything like the lowest requirements for everything really regular everything no honors nothing special but i had a counselor bring me into her office one day and she was like you know i see that you're getting straight a's in science so let's advance you in science and i was like okay i was the only kid in my regular science class to be picked to advance because i was getting straight a's in like the first two semesters so since then i started to get advanced only in science like nothing else like i went i was in seventh grade taking eighth grade science and then i was in eighth grade taking ninth grade science and so on and then this is where we get into high school where i started to take like the you know like the real real high school science classes like anatomy and physiology biology and all of that stuff i also had a emergency medical responder class which is really cool because that kind of like contributes to like what I wanted to do like it made me realize I wanted to do something in the healthcare field for sure and I had a teacher for biology who was literally the Bill Nye of like science in my school he was literally like 100% like believes in science science is my life like he was like literally a crazy mad scientist and he was really really cool and just like someone that I could like talk to about science about life and he really inspired me to just I don't know like do something good in my life with science so this was my senior year I was taking AP biology which is advanced placement biology with this teacher and I was like I really want to do something with science so I was like I want to be a scientist I want to be a biology major and I want to be a scientist and I just want to study animals and life in the world and so I applied to universities and I told my parents my plan. I was like, I'm gonna be a scientist, blah, blah. And my mom was like, you know, I live in a Hispanic family. Hispanic families are like, what? Like scientists, like how do you even say that in Spanish? I'm really ashamed of myself. This was so simple. So they were like, no, like, how are you gonna be a scientist? Like they don't make enough money what are you gonna like discover like really like you're gonna sit in a lab doing research like for me to do that is like a lot of pressure also in high school we did a college tour where we visited the major universities in florida so we went to university of central florida university of florida and florida south university i'm sorry i only know them by the acronyms it's hard it's weird saying like the full name so anyway we visited all these schools and we went to fsu first and then we went to UF. When we went to FSU, I don't know. First of all, the school is like 100 years old. And I don't know, I just didn't really like it. Nothing like, woo, nothing like crazy. And then we went to UF, University of Florida. The number one school in Florida, the school that everyone 
everyone wants to go to like the public Ivy League or whatever. And this is where it really hit me that I was like, I'm going to college and I want to live. Like, cause when you go to their college tour, they play this video and this video just makes you want to be a gator. It makes you want to go to their university so bad. And I was like, like, I don't know, it like brainwashed me and I was like, I need to go here. And ever since that day, I wanted to go there. So I applied there. I applied to all the universities in Florida, not just those three universities I mentioned, but all of the all the public universities in Florida. And when it came to like decision day, I got accepted to FSU. I got accepted to UCF. I got accepted to FIU, FAU, USF. But the day of UF's decision, I got denied. I didn't get accepted for the summer term. I didn't get accepted for the spring term. They didn't tell me that I was on a waiting list. They told me that I was denied. And at the time, I it honestly like crushed my dreams because my boyfriend got accepted and a lot of my friends just got accepted. And I didn't. And I felt bad because I was the only one that didn't get accepted so I felt left out and I don't know, like every other university accepted me, so why didn't UF accept me? I didn't understand, and to this day, I don't understand. I mean, maybe I do, I mean, I kind of understand now because, like I said, I had regular classes, and the only classes that I had advanced in was science, and I guess, you know, UF is like number one, so you have to be advanced in everything, and just, yeah, not me. So. Whatever. I had a midlife crisis in my senior year of high school. That was in February, and then a few months later passed, and my my dad was like, Oh, FIU is having an open house. Let's go. And I was like, My idea was to go to FSU or UCF as a backup plan. And FIU, if you live in Miami, it's like, like no one wants to go there because everyone goes there like people that don't get accepted to other universities go there and people that just stay here in miami and live here already go to miami and it's just like everyone that you went to high school with is there everyone that you went to elementary school is there and you just like you it's just you know not a good environment you know you see everyone you know and like it's gross and like the, the hate social interactions literally that's it that's why people don't want to go to fiu and it's bullshit but but that's not the, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Anyway, my dad took me to the FIU open house, and that was the first time I had ever been to FIU. And honestly, one, I never knew where it was. The second thing is that when I was there, it didn't feel like I was in Miami. It felt like it felt like I was in UF. It felt like I was in FSU. It felt like I was somewhere else. That that's not home. And I really liked that because that's what I was looking for. Just a place away from my home and I ended up liking it a lot so I got a job and I got a car because I decided to stay in Miami and that's what my parents told me if you stay here you'll we'll get you a car if you stay here you can get a job you can make money blah blah, blah. so I was like you know what whatever I'll stay and then I eventually went to orientation at FIU and that is when I applied as a nursing major I changed from biology to a nursing major not in orientation actually, kind of like a night before orientation. And this, like honestly, it was like a really spontaneous move because I had a friend that like went to orientation before me. She told me how stressful the biology orientation was, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what, nursing psh, sounds easy. It's like an easy biology, it's easy doctor, blah, blah. And then when I went to orientation, that's when I learned about the freaking competition in this nursing program, not only here, in my school but like everywhere it's so competitive so i had to do freaking awesome in my life to get in and it made it seem impossible and it made it seem super hard and it was stressful they only accepted 100 people and it was just a mess so i was like wow like what did i get myself into eventually college started my freshman year and in the fall semester i quit my retail job because manager situation and I moved on to get a pharmacy job and I decided to get a pharmacy job because you know what I think this would be a good opportunity to like 
work in the health field. Like even if it's just freaking pharmacy. So I did exactly that. I applied and I got the position. So I quit my retail job. And let me tell you about this pharmacy job. You do not want to work retail pharmacy. I'm sorry. Like that's all I'm going to say about it. The pharmacy job was manageable at first and my fall semester, first semester, I ended up getting A's and B's. Mediocre grades because it was my first semester in college, like honestly, it was kind of hard to adjust to. Moving on to the spring semester of freshman year, this is where it gets interesting. So my spring semester, I had a midlife crisis again. And I wanted to quit life, I thought I was a failure because I wasn't managing my pharmacy job well. I was working about like 30 hours a week and I was working like not just like little shifts like four hours, six hours, no. I was working three to midnight because my pharmacy is a 24 hour store and I was working three to midnight on Monday, on Wednesday, on Thursday and I would have school the next day at like 9 a.m and it just wasn't working and since i worked at 3 p.m and i had class ending like at 2 p.m sometimes i would skip class so that i can get to work on time and obviously like that's not good i was doing bad in my classes i was not studying i was not on track i was prioritizing my job at the moment and yeah so i told my parents i was like i can't do this like i want to quit my job and i want to cry and i i don't even want to do this anymore i don't even want to go to school anymore like i'm done and they were like they're like no i'm not going to let you do that I mean, they were like first of all you don't need money like you can quit your job like we're here to support you just prioritize your school but then they also told me not to quit my job to just tell my manager that i need less hours and see how it goes from there and if i can manage less hours and keep prioritizing my school then everything will be happy like i'll get money and i'll pass my class so i told my manager cut my hours and then i was going to school on time i was actually going to class i was actually having time to study and i ended up getting the dean's list on that semester which means that you get straight a's or like your gpa for that semester is like above a 3.5 or something and i was like wow like I did that like I worked like 20 hours a week had a mental breakdown and continued to work and continue to go to school and I got Dean's List. This is summer after my freshman year of college. So this summer was really interesting. First of all um, I applied to a position at FIU, a job position and it's for the counseling center and it's really awesome because well let me tell you about the process so our mascot is Kiwi and I really wanted to be a peer educator for the counseling center because I don't know Kiwi like Kiwi is the best part of the counseling center and it's just like he's an alien because college can make you feel like an alien and the peer educators are here to help you navigate through the galaxy that is our school so yeah um yeah yeah that's it okay I really love that and I just you know I love to be happy and I love to like spread happiness so I wanted to do that so I applied and the position was really, really intense. It was like, you have to learn about things like sexual assault, domestic violence, stalking. You have to be able to give a 50 minute presentation on those topics to freshmen and adults and stuff like that. And you also had to audition to get the position. So your audition was doing the presentation that was 50 minutes and I may look like I can talk for hours in front of millions of people but not really. I'm really scared. I ended up getting that position that summer and it was just revolutionary because they literally picked, I think like seven people out of like 40 people that auditioned and I was one of them. And honestly, like to this day, I love the job. I love it so much. Also that summer towards the end, my brother was admitted to the hospital for pancreatitis. Literally like he could have died. Like I didn't know this. I didn't even know what pancreas did until this happened and this was honestly the first time I ever got to see what a nurse does and it's crazy because that is when I was like I want to be a nurse for sure and they were just badass and like they do everything and like they made my brother feel so great and like all of this corny like oh this way you would have been a nurse there's more to that this is one of the reasons why this just made me like 
look at what a nurse does and just be okay with like what they do to patients and like what they do in hospital settings and I don't know, I don't know. That's pretty much it. So that's what I got out of my brother's hospital experience. And moving on to the sophomore year of college, fall. I got straight A's again. Yeah, Dean's List again. I love chemistry. I learned that that semester. And honestly, that semester, I started to think, like, I love chemistry so much and I'm so good at it. Like, should I be a pharmacist? But then it hit me. I was like, I cannot be, like, working at my pharmacy for the rest of my life. So, no. Never would do pharmacy. And then this is the funny thing. This is why I question my life. I got a C. Okay, wait. Remember how I said I got straight A's? Okay, forget that. I got straight A's and one C. Guess what my C was in? It was in my ethics class. I have never taken an ethics or philosophy class in my life. And the first time I did, I got a C. But let me tell you, well, okay, let me not tell you about this lady because this video is already long, but oh my god, this lady. But nonetheless, I got a dean's list that semester and shit was getting real because spring semester was coming up and the spring semester of your sophomore year is when you're going to apply to the nursing school. So spring semester of my college year, I got a midlife crisis again. Guess why? Relationship issues. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to elaborate on that. Just relationship issues. And honestly, it was weird because the way that I was coping with that was not only seeking help through counseling and therapy, but also through studying. <laughs> so I began to like hardcore study anatomy. I was taking anatomy at the time and it was just great. Like I would take my anger out on anatomy and I would just be like, frontal, occipital. I don't know. I would just know everything. Like I would know all the bones, all the muscles. And it was just great. So my GPA was about a 3.6 when I applied to the nursing school and the average GPA of like people that get accepted is a 3.7 Oh and also the average test score of the T's of people that get accepted at FIU is about 80% to 85% So I was really like on the edge like literally I had minimum requirements to get into the nursing school program And I didn't really believe in myself There were times that I did believe in myself because I had a pharmacy job I worked at FIU and I do something that is super rewarding. I work at the counseling center. I'm not a counselor, it's not what the position is. The position is just reaching out to students and letting them know that we're that there is a counseling center, that it's free, that it's confidential, and that it's just like letting people also know about like important topics that you should know about domestic violence sexual assault stalking you should know about these things and that's what we're there for and it's just very rewarding because you make people happy to be doing those things and i applied to nursing school anyway uh despite my low testing score despite my low gpa despite my c in ethics and despite all these things i still applied because i was eligible to apply and i was like yo like the worst that could happen is a no. The summer game, and it was just a waiting game. Like I would go to work, and my manager would be like, "So anything about nursing school?" And I would be like, "No." The week before Memorial Day, they started to send admission letters, and that was the week of midlife crisis for me. And it was a midlife crisis because I was everyone was getting their emails, my friends were getting their emails, and I was like. Like, are they saving me for less because I got rejected? And it was just like UF all over again. And I was feeling really like depressed because I was like, here we go again. Like everyone else is gonna get accepted but me. And I know that sounds really selfish too. Like everyone's gonna get accepted but me. But like, I don't know why I'm like that. Like I really, unfortunately, like I do care that everyone else got accepted but me. Of course, I'm happy for all of them. I was like, congratulations, like you're the boss, like you freaking did this, like this is amazing. But of course you're gonna be bummed out that like your friends did it and you didn't. And that's just how I felt. So literally for a whole week, I would cry. Like every day someone would be like, I got accepted. And I would be like, I didn't get my email. I would cry every single time. And then it was the Memorial Day and then the Tuesday. 
the Tuesday after Memorial Day, it finally came. And it said, you know, a nursing decision. And I was like, I need to go on break right now. I was like, I need to go right now. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to go right now because I just got my nursing email. And I went to the break room. I opened that email. And it said, Congratulations, you've been accepted to set by new nurse in 2020. And I was like, And honestly, I don't know how I did it. Like, literally, I was working two jobs. I was doing okay in my classes. Above average, I guess you could say. I did minimal in my T's test. And I don't know. It's just like crazy to still think about it that I'm here right now. And that... My orientation for nursing school is in a few days and that I'm gonna get a stethoscope, that I'm gonna get scrubs, and that I'm gonna be an RM. Don't ever doubt yourself. Like, I doubt myself not only with this, but like everything in my life. And, you know, just do it. Like, if you wanna do something, just do it. And the worst thing that could happen is no, but also like, believe in yourself and just like, don't let anything stop you from doing what you want to do because you never know. You really never know. And you just might get it. Like me. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. Like, thank you for listening to my life story and for being, you know, cliche with me right now. But yeah, I can't believe I'm here. Can't believe I'm going to nursing school. And I'm ready to die because it's gonna be so stressful and it's gonna be so crazy but honestly like I wouldn't trade it for any other major and I'm gonna be the first healthcare professional in my family and that's just it's just I'm just happy that I'm gonna be able to make everyone proud and that's pretty much it that's my journey and I hope you follow my journey in this I guess like YouTube channel and yeah Thank you for listening. Peace out. Sorry this was really long.